Hey everyone, I'm StormTrack 8 Meteorologist Tara Hastings with your weather in a flash. Well, we had some showers and thunderstorms throughout the day today. We have one line to get through and then we are done for the night tonight. We've already picked up about an inch and a quarter to about an inch and a third in parts of the state here. And overnight, we'll eventually see that rain come to an end. Temperatures are in the 50s and they're going to be falling, but those winds are going to be picking up. Talking about winds sustained at 10 to 25 miles per hour, but gusts will be close to 40. And that's why we do have a wind advisory that goes into effect here at midnight and lasts until 8 o'clock in the morning. The reason being, well, we are going to see wind speeds gusting at times to near 40 miles per hour. So keep that in mind. And that's going to have a big impact here on our feels like temperature. Tomorrow morning, we'll start off with readings in the upper 30s and lower 40s, but the wind chill values will be close to freezing under mostly cloudy skies. And just because the wind advisory is over at 8 a.m., doesn't mean that it's still not going to be breezy during the afternoon tomorrow. We're talking about wind speeds 10 to 20 miles per hour gusting at 25 and 30. Highs tomorrow will be uh, into the low and middle 40s across much of the state. Your Chapman heating and cooling eight day forecast showing that uh, we are going to see a bit of a warm up here for the middle part of the work week. But first, don't forget to spring ahead. This is where we go to daylight saving time. Our sunrise tomorrow will be at 8.05 and our sunset shortly before 8 p.m. How about that? 44 degrees on Monday, dry. Rain late Tuesday into Wednesday. Look at Wednesday and Thursday. Highs in the 60s, but it's not going to last. We drop back into the 40s for next weekend.